Welcome to our exciting nature series for kids. In this video, we're going to learn about five fascinating creatures that you might encounter in your backyard or at a nearby pond. First, we'll meet the water strider, a tiny insect that can walk on water. Then, we'll get up close with the scorpion, a creature that has a reputation for being scary but also has some amazing survival skills. Next, we'll learn about the ladybug, a colorful beetle that's considered lucky in many cultures. And finally, we'll explore the world of the snail and the frog, two creatures that might move slowly but have some incredible adaptations that help them thrive in their environments. Get ready to be amazed by these incredible creatures. So, let's get started. It is a water strider. Water striders are insects that can be found on the surface of still or slow-moving water, such as ponds, lakes, and even puddles. They have long, skinny legs that allow them to skate or glide across the water without breaking the surface tension. Water striders are very light and small, usually less than one inch long, but they can carry up to 15 times their own weight on the water's surface. They use their front legs to capture prey, which includes insects, small fish, and even tadpoles. Water striders have two pairs of wings, but only the front pair are used for flight. The back pair are used as stabilizers during movement on the water. They have a special oil on their legs and body that keeps them from sinking and helps them stay dry. Some species of water striders can even walk on the surface of ocean water. These insects are able to sense vibrations on the water's surface, which helps them locate prey and avoid predators. Females lay their eggs on the surface of the water, and the young hatch into nymphs that live on the water's surface until they mature into adults. Water striders have a unique, whistling behavior, where they rub their front legs against their wings to produce a high-pitched sound that can be heard by other water striders. It is a scorpion. They are arachnids, which means they are related to spiders, ticks, and mites. There are over 2,000 different species of scorpions found all over the world, except for Antarctica. Scorpions have two pincers, called chalicerae, and a long, curved tail with a stinger on the end. The stinger on a scorpion's tail is filled with venom, which they use to paralyze or kill their prey. Scorpions have a tough outer shell, called an exoskeleton, that protects them from predators and helps them retain moisture in dry environments. They are nocturnal animals, which means they are most active at night. Scorpions have poor eyesight, but they can sense vibrations and movement in their environment using tiny hairs on their body. Some species of scorpions are able to glow in the dark under ultraviolet light, which helps them attract prey and avoid predators. Female scorpions carry their young on their back until they are old enough to fend for themselves. Scorpions can survive without food or water for several months, and some species can even survive freezing temperatures. a ladybug. Ladybugs are also known as ladybirds or lady beetles. There are over 5,000 different species of ladybugs found all over the world. Ladybugs are beneficial insects that help farmers and gardeners by eating aphids and other pests that can damage crops and plants. They have a hard, dome-shaped body with bright colors such as red, orange, and yellow with black spots or stripes. Ladybugs can vary in size from as small as 1 mm to as large as 10 mm. They have wings, but they usually only fly short distances. Ladybugs are able to excrete a yellow fluid from their leg joints when they feel threatened, which has a bad taste and can deter predators. Some species of ladybugs are able to secrete a foul-smelling liquid from their body to deter predators. They hibernate during the winter months, often gathering in large groups to conserve heat. In many cultures, ladybugs are considered lucky and are even thought to bring good fortune and prosperity. It is a snail. Snails are mollusks, 
which means they are related to clams, oysters, and octopuses. They have a soft, slimy body and a hard, spiral shell that they can retract into for protection. Snails move very slowly, using a muscular foot to glide along on a layer of mucus they produce. They can vary in size from as small as a few millimeters to as large as 12 inches in length. Snails are able to retract their eye stalks and feelers into their body for protection. They are able to hibernate for several months when the weather is too hot, cold, or dry. Snails are able to regenerate parts of their body, including their shell. Some species of snails are able to reproduce on their own, without the need for a mate. Snails are herbivores, and they eat a variety of plants, fruits, and vegetables. In some cultures, snails are considered a delicacy and are eaten as food. It is a frog. Frogs are amphibians, which means they spend part of their life in water and part of their life on land. They have long, powerful hind legs that allow them to jump long distances and swim efficiently. Frogs have smooth, moist skin that is permeable to water and oxygen, which helps them breathe through their skin. They lay their eggs in water, which hatch into tadpoles that undergo metamorphosis to become adult frogs. Frogs have a unique vocal sac that allows them to make loud, croaking sounds to communicate with other frogs. They are able to change color to blend in with their surroundings and hide from predators. Frogs are carnivores, and they eat a variety of insects, worms, and other small animals. Some species of frogs are able to secrete toxic substances through their skin as a defense mechanism against predators. Frogs are found all over the world, in a variety of habitats including rainforests, deserts, and even frozen tundra. In many cultures, frogs are considered symbols of good luck, fertility, and transformation. If you enjoyed this video, my little friend, don't forget to subscribe to Animal Kingdom TV and click on the bell in order always to be the first to discover and learn about all kinds of amazing creatures.